All right, viewers, Walter's been kind of busy today, but I did get a little bit done. I got that much done on my post. I got the paint, paint remover peeled off to the best I could. And then I took sandpaper to this thing, especially around in here. This still kind of rough on these rounded things, but I couldn't get all the paint off, so I worked at it with a wire brush, and that roughed it up more than it should have. But I'll hit it with a lick or two with some sandpaper. At least it ain't white anymore. And we'll get back on this project. I wonder why that wood, if that's two different kind of wood, they both look like pine. So I can imagine this was heartwood right here, somewhere in them. Middle of the tree maybe, I don't know. You can see where they've laminated two boards together to make a 4x4. Four four. Still haven't got all the paint off, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm going to have to square this end off. I'm going to take it to the table saw. So we're trying to do it by hand. I could just take off a small section of the top but I think the, if I had a flat top the whirly gig would rest on there a lot better than it would on a round top. I'm going to have to drill a hole exactly in the middle. Well, my friends, I ain't never going to get this thing sanded really good. I went outside in the garage, it's dark, and I lopped off this round top with my miter saw. And it wouldn't fit in the miter saw, so I just took a guess. Hope I got it 90 degrees. Sure lopped off the top of it though, it's not round on the top anymore. rough because this blade is dull in the miter saw but it looks fairly square yeah probably square enough for railroad work let's take a piece of sandpaper and smooth it down on top a little bit and debate about putting a hole in it gonna find the center I'll have to bring the whirly gig down here tomorrow and measure how big a hole I need to make. Maybe old Todd will tell me what size hole to drill for that thing that sticks down on the bottom of the whirly gig. If I don't drill it exactly square, it ain't going to sit right. 
Got to the point we're ready to make our stand pretty soon. Actually, it looks like I squared it off pretty good. Square enough for the people all part express. There we go. Somebody suggested I make the base out of concrete. And I could, but I don't think that's entirely necessary. If I make it out of wood and it don't work, I can always go back and fill the wood with concrete and make it heavier on the bottom. Not much of a V-log tonight. But I'll see about getting it on mine. I didn't sand it really good, but I think it's going to look good with a little bit of polyurethane on it. 